Oh, an old spot today. Nice little grass grove. This is what I found so far. Thought this was going to be good. But it's a junker, little tiny ring. And this is a it's a heavy little button. I doubt it's silver. But who knows? We'll have to test it. Came up as a high tone. Then there's this. It's like a little chunk of lead. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But I was just digging a little mid-tone, and uh, looks like I got a nickel down here. Looks like it's going to be a war nickel. Nice. First little piece of silver for today. 1944. Looks like it's going to have a P on it. Philadelphia. Nice. I'll take it. Get back to you if I find anything else. That yeah, guy's about two feet from that war nickel. Got some type of like, it's not silver, but it's probably brass or some type of little medallion. Yeah, pretty cool. Like a little keychain or something. It says something swim team. So, that's cool. I'll get back to you on the next old target. All right, about five minutes after the last find, I got a wheat penny, and then I just dug a second hole, got another wheat penny. It's hard to see it, but I don't want to film all the wheats, but every now and again I will. I'll show you a few. This one's green, it looks older, but hopefully we get on some more silver. I'll get back to you soon. I was over a hole here, I thought I was going to pull out a shallow coin, but I just wiped it off and I don't see sterling anywhere yet, but it's a little pin. Let's see if I can get to focus. It says milk of human kindness. That's weird. Let me see if there's anything on the back of this here. It says made in the USA. Who knows? Might be silver. We'll check it out later. I'll get back to you. Alright guys, over a hole here. Just got me a little ring. It's broken. It's probably a junker, but I don't know. It's shining up a little bit. It could be silver. There's something in there. I think that little stamp says sterling. That'd be nice. Huh? Oh yeah, that's definitely sterling. Shining right up. Nice. That's awesome. Never found a silver cup scout. It's usually a copper one. Alright guys, I'll get back to you. Alright, right next to the base of this tree here. I had a shallow 1243 signal and... I expected a clad penny at most, and looks like we got a mark there. It's gonna be a nice one too. Nineteen forty-four. Check for a mint mark. Nope, Philadelphia. Nice. We'll take it. Get back to you if we get anything else. What's up guys? I'm going to do a little wrap up real quick. This is a little lead like fence post setup. Probably from one of the little toys from the Cowboys and Indians setups. We got a uh, couple buttons here. American Eagle Outfitter button. And this one's a Chapel Down Swim Club. Little junker ring. Little piece of bling. I got on a bunch of weeds today. Most of the top rows from the 40s and 50s. And a couple old ones here. This one I think was 1917. This one's a 36. That one's a 16. That one's a 16D. Too bad this mark wasn't a 16D. But that's just the way it happens, I guess. But the mark's a 44. War nickel's a 44. Both Philadelphia. And I got a nice little Sterling Cub Scouts ring. 
it's broke in the back and a little bent up, but most of the rest is still there. And I got a nice sterling pin. It's marked in the inside of the rim. It says, Milk of Human Kindness. So overall, it was a good hunt. And uh, I was out with Keith K. He did well also. He ended up pulling a Rosie and a Silver Washington. And a couple of wheats himself. So I'll get back to you guys on the next hunt. Happy hunting.